Hi beautiful people, welcome to Kate's Space, welcome to my channel. I'm Kate from Pixie K Designs and I have a journal flip through for you today. Uh, this journal has been in my shop before and it hasn't found a home. I'm going to pop it in once more uh, and see if anyone it appeals to anybody. Uh, so this is the updated flip through because I've added a few little things to her. It's five signatures. 22 by 14 and a half centimeters a five centimeter spine with um 100 about 122 pages uh it's a hidden hollow back binding we've got a little bit of vintage lace at the top uh just to make it look pretty and we've got a lot of vintage and contemporary sort of laces and ribbons poking out from that view made from some book board painted I've used some crackle paste and fussy cut the flowers now the kit that I've mainly used is a scrapbooking kit by Prima and it's it, I don't know if it's even available anymore I've had it for a while so she's held together with some pale pink seam binding we've got a little uh, lace pocket here this is some vintage sort of heavy lace that I have uh, avocado dyed. But it's got this kind of blue coming through it as well. And because this is a pink and blue journal, I thought it suited this journal really well. I've made a tag here, collage tag, with some of the kit and some vintage music paper and a digital. We've got some fabric and velvet and lace up here with a little bell. And there's a digital on the back. Here is a little envelope. This is a digital that I've uh, made up and I've got this little wax seal on the back. There's nothing in this envelope. This is from Ruby and Pearl. I just really thought the colour suited, suited this journal. And there's a wee tag here made with watercolour paper, some of a do doily, some embossed avocado paper and a sample stamp with some avocado dyed um, seam binding at the top. A couple of little sew flakes with some of that glitter glue, what's it called? Um, I can't remember. So in this pocket over here, I've got a vintage, a beautiful vintage Christmas postcard from Katie to grandfather. So I thought that was appropriate from Kate, Katie. I used to be called Katie back in the day and then somewhere along the line I decided I wanted to be Kate so that's how I became Kate. Another tag that I've created, it's got a digital on the back and some of the kit, some of this lace. Now if this journal doesn't sell this time I will be harvesting all this trim off it. It's one of my favourites, I have none left and yeah it, I love it so much it's so perfect for this beautiful journal I love the way it just sort of cascades down like that and this is another little digital card it's backed with some uh, genuine vintage book page on the back and that just slides in there you could put other things in there a page scrap with the scrapbooking kit here and in here I have slipped some book page from the girl's own paper from the late 1800s uh, because I liked this image I kind of thought it looked a little bit Christmassy for those who live uh, in this what the northern hemisphere yeah they're coming into winter some of the blue ledger from 1863 and I've just put a little fussy cut flower up there I've cut uh, handmade paper with this this Tim Holtz die cut and behind here I've put some like just some tracing paper and in here are a couple of little journaling cards made with images from the kit and on the back is some old what do you call these index cards this is some pink it might be avocado dyed or it might be actually pink paper that's been tea dyed I can't remember but it's yeah it's a lovely shade of pink some old ledger paper this has been black bean dyed and these are texture paste snowflakes and i've just popped this little uh, fussy cut here and that's from a stamperia paper pack 
and in here you can see the pattern coming through from the lace tablecloth i hope well i don't know if you can actually see it on camera and here you can see the wet te texture paste has seeped through and left these little um, sort of shadows of snowflakes on here which i love how that turned out that was a happy accident we have a silver bell and some blue trim with the white snowflakes and so this is all the other side this lovely uh, vintage cotton up here and the ruffle here i've just put together a few pieces this lovely avocado dyed sequined piece and um, some white card that i've embossed and an index card and they're stitched across the top and again they've, i've used this lovely trim And this wee pocket is a little notebook and in here is my, mm, pretty much vintage and antique papers from notebooks. No, there's a digital in there just to add the blue, some music page, some avocado dyed music manuscript. And in the center is this gorgeous little tag. I love this little image of the rocking horse and that's from the kit. So those are papers that could be used or um, taken apart, yeah, and used, or it could be used as a little notebook. I've got a little pine cone up here on this uh, sort of table crocheted tablecloth trim. Some more of the pink and blue ledger paper and some more of the pink. This opens up and you can journal inside it there's nothing in there it's it's for maybe a secret journaling or a photo or something like that some more uh, tea, uh black bean dyed paper but more texture paste this is a lovely pink uh, music manuscript cover music cover music score i guess you'd call it music score cover a lovely christmas card this is a genuine vintage christmas card you can see the glue on the back where i've removed it from the scrapbooking the scrapbook that they were in that they came in but this opens out and could be used in any way in the journal or elsewhere or just left as decoration and then i've made a journaling card here this is one of those project life cards that i've still got a few of a bit of a fussy cut up here and that tucks in here fussy cut flowers sort of decorating and then our lovely beautiful um, snowflakes these are die cuts out of watercolor paper or card really they're heavier than paper some more texture paste more music manuscript that's vintage this is definitely a vintage piece of sequin trim i have a feeling this might have been my mum's and maybe used on one of our costumes at some point and again, we have the other side of that. Another genuine vintage Christmas card. I liked the colors in here and I thought it kind of went with, with, the, um, with the journal. And again, you can see where it was glued in, but it came out intact. Some of them didn't. I had to soak them and it took me um, a long, long time. And some of them I just lost patience with. <laughs> they didn't come out quite, looking quite as good as those ones. Here we have my favorite page. I love this um, uptuck with this lovely cluster. We've got a vintage um, millinery flower here and a couple of little pearl, mother of pearl buttons. And then I've done some a cluster here with the sequins. And this opens up. I'm not sure what we've got in here. Let's have a look. In here we have another genuine vintage Christmas card. We have a little uh, glassine bag with snowflakes on it. And in here, there's a few little extras. And actually, I've got another wax seal here with cherubs on it. And I'm going to pop that in there too. Uh, so yeah, that's that. A little piece of vintage music paper with snowflakes stenciled onto it. And this beautiful angel who is printed on to tracing paper. So all little bits that could be used in this journal or elsewhere. Another lovely um, ruffle with this beautiful trim and a sari silk ribbon rib, uh, bow at the top. Some more texture paste. 
this uh, page is from a old diary that I had I think it's almost all gone from 1927 I've got another one that's from 1928 and I'm just reluctant to uh, cut it up actually 1928 was the same as this year uh, 2024 and I could have actually used it as my diary if I'd realized a little card here that I've made with some of the kit and this is uh, some handmade sort of paper that I've cut a, star, a snowflake out of and then there's some vintage music paper behind and then that just tucks up into this little sort of belly band thing. Some of that blue sort of accounting paper I've got. Check payments journal. And some more of the blue dyed paper. This is something I made following uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations. So this is actually a digital behind here and there's that lovely image of that angel again. I'm pretty sure that's from the Graphics Fairy. And in here is some genuine vintage ephemera. This one is looking a bit worse for wear, but it's still really beautiful. It is from 1932. And this one is from the 40s, I think. And it's got that little bit of blue attached to it here. Yeah, 1947. And then at the back is this gorgeous image, which I, I'm pretty sure is a ruby and pearl. And it's got some genuine vintage uh, music paper on the back of it. So I've just clipped it there with that silver paper clip. And on this side, I've just clipped this little, uh, well, it's a gift tag, but I liked that it had the pink on it. So I've added that. This is an altered paper clip here that I've made with the Stamperia kit. So yeah, that slides on and off and can be put anywhere. And here is another genuine vintage postcard. This beautiful embossed rose on here. I love this one, A Happy Christmas. And this is to Dear Mary from Mother. So it's got this beautiful writing on the back. Well, it's not beautiful writing, but it's, I, I just love that it's got handwriting on the back. No stamp, but it's, it's an oldie, an oldie, but a goodie. And there's a little bit of uh, washi tape just there because there was a tiny little tear in this paper. It's old. Uh, another ruffle here and on here I've put a little uh, white Christmas bauble. This opens out. This opens out like this so it can be torn uh, or put somewhere else. I've got some tape. Uh, this is sort of faux washi tape that I've made with a graphics fairy image. And I think this is a graphics fairy image as well, which I have embossed. I've backed it with the scrapbooking card and I love this beautiful rose image and I've just put some Swiss dot and it's just glued thinly along there. So again, that could come off, I guess, if you wanted to. Another fussy cut here. Some grid paper that's been avocado dyed. Another collection of things here. Well, it's actually just part of the uh, diary that opens up uh, to make a little writing spot or journaling spot and with this lovely image of the two little girls in their furs. In this pocket, I have a tag that I've made with some embossed handmade paper and some things from the kit and there's a little angel hanging on there. She's gone all beautiful and tarnished which I love. And this is some Tim Holtz sort of a wallpaper thing, scrap. And some beautiful embossed paper. This is wa uh, watercolor, embossed watercolor paper. It's one of my favorite embossing folders. I don't have it, my sister has that one. Some of this accounting invoice paper from the 40s. Some lined avocado paper. This is from about 1906, this ledger paper. And it's just got some embossing down the bottom here, light embossing. And this is just obviously uh, the page that comes through the other side. And I've just fussy cut this lovely little angel out and stuck her there. Another collection of things here. This is a insurance certificate from 1945. And I've just popped this lovely image of mary and jesus on there this holy card it is not real it is a digital from ruby and pearl and some pink tickets and then some more of the avocado dyed avocado dyed music manuscript 
held on by this rusty clip. This paper here is the back of that music score cover and I've glued this beautiful doily on it just to add some decoration and make it look even more pretty. Some more blue and pink accounting paper. This lovely image, again, Graphics Fairy, I'm pretty sure, and this is a handmade paper on the back, and I love the, the, the way it's all fluffy around the edges, and I've just put an eyelet and some pale pink velvet ribbon in there, and there you can see the doily. I haven't glued it down all the way, just um, this lifts up a little bit. This collection of things here is another little holy card. It's a digital and we have a pink digital receipt. It's a printable and this check, which is also a printable. Um, and they're both printed onto pink paper. So that's why they kind of look quite dark. And then this is some, obviously some ledger with some baubles. Text, um, stenciled on with texture paste I've left that big fold up there to be done whatever you'd like to oh and on the back is this avocado dyed paper which has got this beautiful embossing on it of the holly this has been strengthened with some pink rose washi tape and there's a big pocket here Another tag that I've made with the uh, the kit and some die cut snowflakes. In the last back page, I've popped this envelope that I made with a um, a copy of. Let's see which way we need to wind this round to get it undone. This is a copy of a music sheet that I have. Um, and I love the pale blue of it. And then it's backed with a digital. And in here I have placed this little thing I made. Um, I love this image. And I kind of try to emulate one of those cards that has the ribbon that holds it together. So this is avocado dyed cardstock. And it's got this lovely um, embossed frame on it. And then this just is sort of tied on. I love that. And then a lovely digital holy card which is backed with avocado dyed paper also and then one of my library cards and this one is a New Zealand one New Zealand history so I thought that would be great to pop in and include in the journal so there's lots of things in here that could be used in the journal or elsewhere so I hope you like her uh at the time of this video going up she will be in my shop so I'm going to pop her straight in there um, in time for someone if they want to give it a, as a gift to someone for Christmas or use it for a December daily or a December journal so yeah there'll be plenty of time for it to be purchased if anyone from other than New Zealand would like to purchase it so yeah that is her she's lovely pale pink painted fabric cover made from scratch so yeah I'm really really happy with her I think she's very pretty and I have to say that's my favorite view that lovely lace all poking out there so yeah thanks so much for watching thanks for hanging out with me today I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you like the journal and I'll see you again soon in the next video bye